Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering performance analysis of an algorithm and also I will explain what is time complexity and what is space complexity. Guys, I have uploaded complete task subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. Let's get started. An algorithm is said to be efficient and fast if it takes less time to execute and consumes less memory space. Performance of an algorithm is said to be good only if it takes less time to execute and consumes less memory space. So in order to analyze performance of an algorithm, we use time complexity and as well as space complexity. That is performance of an algorithm depends upon time and as well as space. At first, I will explain what is time complexity. The time that an algorithm requires for its execution is known as time complexity. The amount of time that an algorithm requires for its execution is known as time complexity. There are three types of time complexities. First one is best case time complexity. Second one is worst case time complexity. And third one is average case time complexity. If an algorithm get executed in short period of time, then it is known as best case time complexity. If an algorithm requires minimum amount of time for its execution, then it is known as best case time complexity. And if an algorithm requires maximum amount of time, that is if algorithm takes more time for its execution, then it is known as worst case time complexity. And third one is average case time complexity. If an algorithm requires average amount of time for its execution, then it is known as average case time complexity. I will explain best case, worst case and average case time complexities with an example that is with linear search example. We know what is linear search. Linear search is the process of searching elements one by one until we found key element. In linear search, we will search each and element one by one in order wise until we get our required element is known as linear search. Here I took example. There are five elements that is 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. In this I want to find element that is element number 10. So we will start from first here first element is 10. So we got our required element at first. So it is known as best case time complexity. And another example, this is same example here. I want to find element number 30. We will start searching from first 30. 30 is not found at first position. So then we will move for second position. Element is 30 element is not present in second position. So again, we will move this element one step forward that is 30. We got our element 30 in third position. It does not took minimum amount of time and it does not took maximum amount of time. So it is known as average case time complexity. And here third example here I want to find element number 50. At first we will start with first element that is 10. 50 is not present at first position. So we will move one step forward. 50 is not in second position. Again we will move one step forward. In third position element is not found and in fourth position element is not found. We got element 50 in last position. So time consuming is more. It is so it is known as worst case time complexity because it took maximum amount of time. Whereas in first it took minimum amount of time. So it is known as best case and whereas last one is worst case time complexity. This is an example of time complexity. In order to calculate time complexity, we use two approaches. First one is frequency count. We also call this frequency count as step count. And second one is asymptotic notations. Now I will explain components of time complexity. There are two components of time complexity. First one is capacity of system. And second one is computer containing single processor or multiple processors. I will explain first one that is capacity of system. Capacity of system depends upon various factors such as RAM, processor and type of windows that we are using in system so on. So if speed of computer is fast then output will be generated fastly. But if speed of computer is slow then output will get generated slowly. This is known as capacity of system. Second one is computer containing single processor or multiple processors. If computer contain only one processor that is only single processor then output is generated slowly but whereas if computer contains multiple processors then output is generated fastly. These are the two components of time complexity. 
Next topic is space complexity. Space complexity is same as time complexity. Only difference is that in place of time we need to write space. So definition of the space complexity is amount of space that an algorithm requires for its execution is known as space complexity. Same as time complexity, space complexity is also classified into three types. First one is best case space complexity, second one is average case space complexity and third one is wash case space complexity. If an algorithm requires less space that is minimum amount of space for its execution then it is known as best case space complexity and if an algorithm requires average amount of space for its execution then it is known as average case space complexity and if an algorithm requires more space that is and if an algorithm requires maximum amount of space for its execution then it is known as worst case space complexity now i will explain components of space complexity basically there are three components of space complexity first one is instruction space second one is environmental stack and third one is data space first i will explain instruction space the amount of space that is required in computer in order to store instruction that is space required to store instruction is known as instruction space second one is environmental stack the amount of space required in order to store partially executed functions is known as environmental stack and third one is data space space required in order to store variables and constants is known as data space we can calculate space complexity of an algorithm by using two parts first one is fixed part and second one is variable part in fixed part variables that have independent characteristics that mean variables which do not depend on another variables is known as independent characteristics of variable so in fixed part variables that have independent characteristics for example constants and whereas in variable part variables that have dependent characteristics dependent characteristics mean variables which depend on another variable whereas in fixed part variable do not depend on another variable this is formula in order to calculate space complexity space complexity of an program that is s of p equal to c plus sp c where c is constant we can also call this c as fixed part and whereas sp is variable part these are the examples in order to calculate space complexity of an algorithm this is an example of algorithm that is abc of x comma y comma z written x into y into z plus x minus y this is an algorithm here we need to calculate space complexity at first we need to find constants size of constants and after that we need to find size of variable space at first i am finding what are the constants for example each constant occupies one unit of memory how many constants are there one yeah, that is x y z x y z total there are three constants so it occupies three units of memory plus variable space there are no dependent variables dependent variables are not present in this so zero that is three s of p that is space complexity of this algorithm is three similarly second example int square of int a where a is constant at first i need to calculate what are the constants that are present in this program only a there are there is only single constant that is a so here size is one unit it occupies only one unit of memory because there is only one independent variable so one plus dependent variables here in this dependent variables are not present so zero space complexity of this program is one s of p is one because there is only single 
independent variable that is a and it occupies one unit of memory similarly another example sum of x comma n total equal to zero this is an algorithm here sum is x comma n and total equal to zero for i one to n do total equal to total plus x of i this is an algorithm at first we need to find independent variables that is constants here total there are x n and total total there are three constants first one is x and next one is n and third one is total that is three total occupies three units of memory in this dependent variable is present that is i i is dependent variable size of i is one to n so we should consider size as highest element that is n for example here size is 1 to 5 then we need to consider size as 5 because we need to take only highest element as its size so here size is x of i i value is 1 to n that is n we need to consider n that is n here space complexity of this program is 3 plus n for example here i took size is 5 that is 1 to 5 then here value of i is 5 for example here i took 15 then here value is 15 that is 15 plus 3 that is 18 this is how we calculate space complexity of an program space complexity of a program is calculated by using fixed part and as well as variable part fixed part is nothing but independent variables that is constants and whereas variable part contains dependent variables in this example there are total three independent variables that is x n and total and dependent variable is i and each element occupies one unit of memory